Hey guys, it's Condor. This is Infectinator Survivors. Uh, it's a zombie survival game. You'd think it would be overdone, but they bring an interesting little twist. I don't know. can't really explain it. I found it today on Game Jolt. I thought I would give it a try, right? Figured why not. I can't stop playing the thing, and I don't even know why. And I want to just give a shout out, bring awareness to this game. More awareness, I should say. The link's going to be below if you want to check it out yourself. But this is the HQ. This is where your survivors go after a mission, I guess you should say. Each day they consume supplies. Right now, since I have four survivors, it's four a day. Fuel is what you need for the car and to do projects. Down here at the craft menu got projects you can research to help out your survivors like advanced weapons, turret upgrades, a hydroponic farm which I did myself before. This is about day three for me. It didn't give me any supplies. It's supposed to give you like one extra supply every day. It didn't give me any. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or if it bugged out or if I just got really unlucky. I don't know. But yeah, if you look over here, you got building and searching. You need survivors with these skills to create those. You have survivors over here. You click start, which takes fuel, and then it fills that bar up. But yeah, got a nice squad screen here. Very easy interface. I took right to it. And, you know, for me, sometimes it takes a little bit. Each survivor has... Uh, a tree, a skill tree, stat tree, whatever you want to call it. Some of them are good at better things like the police officer and this woman's good at aiming. The worker's good for building and the scientist is good for searching. I bring the scientist with me everywhere because I search everything. As you can see, I'm kind of injured because this is like day three for me. I'll show you combat here soon. Go to missions. You can go to any one of these buildings, but it has to be in a one building radius, I've noticed. So I'd, in order to get to, let's say, this building, I have to be at this building or that building. So you got to kind of travel, which I found a little uh, inconvenient. I don't know. I understand why you did it. I'm not talking you down, but yeah. Let's go. I think I already did this. Well, actually, I can do this again. So let's do this again. I am a little... Oh, I'm tired. Whoops. Yeah, I, I, every time you do a mission, your people get tired and you have to click end day. Day two. Oh, I'm on day two. I lose track of time. Get your daily report. Looks like everybody's repealed from their injuries, which is good. Now I can go to missions. Oh, what should I do? This is, looks nice. You get levels over here. I always look at the zombie level. If it gets too high, the higher that goes, the tougher it's going to be for your survivors. But they have dollar signs, which means there's pretty good loot. So I'm going to go to the fast food restaurant here. All you do is click Add Survivor. Since I have no weapons or gear yet, all you got to do is click Assign. You only have four, so you can't really choose. Click Go. And this is combat of the game. The nice thing about this, there's two things that I like a lot. They automatically fire. You don't have to aim for them. And they fire even while moving, which I found a really nice touch. Yeah, see? After every one of these, I always click reload because that's really saved my ass a couple times. And the sparkle things over here is what you can search. You need to find supplies and fuel and anything else that you can get your hands on. There, I got two supplies. You see that? You need supplies every day for your survivors. Come on. If you click wave early, you get bonus coins, which I really like. You need these coins because every so often a random merchant will show up and you could buy items from them. Better weapons, better gear, 
supplies, fuel, all that stuff. It's costly, but I found that it's really worth it. It's about my fourth time playing. I've had a problem with my saves. I don't know. You get two areas and a certain amount of waves you have to survive. And if you do that, you can go back to your HQ. And I think the game automatically saves at this point. When you go to the HQ. I'm going to keep searching. Coins. Oh shit, I didn't restart that. I don't like to melee so much. I don't, honestly. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, any more sparkles or sparklies down here? Okay. I'm gonna go down here and get these. I'm really hooked on finding all the searchable areas. It's actually cost my survivors their lives a couple times and I had to restart because I'm... I don't like my survivors dying. And they will die. They will die in here. If their health goes down, they get a dying bubble over their heads with a countdown. I hate these. And if you don't get to them in time, they do die. You lose them as a survivor. They're already reloaded. Oh shit. These are the easy zombies here. They go up in difficulty, and there are zombie bosses. I've come across a few zombie boss bosses without realizing, so I've kind of... Yeah, I kind of ruined my game not realizing this was actually a boss level. But these are the turrets right here. I'll build one, see if I can build one real quick. They fire on the zombies automatically for you. Ah, get over here. See? They really help, but I always seem to forget that I can build them. <laughs> is that it? Yep, the area is done. You'll get this text prompt. You could ignore or take a look or scavenge or whatever to see if you can find anything extra. I always scavenge. Um, this is a new one for me. I don't know about this one. I'm going to grab a magazine. Oh, an adult magazine. Nice touch. Not really what I wanted. <laughs> Gives you a mission report. I found five supplies and one fuel, which is pretty good for me. Over here, you'll it'll tell you if you found any weapons, which I love to find weapons. If there's any casualties, how many zombies you've killed. And it takes you back to the HQ where your game is supposed to automatically save. And here's the merchant. This is the merchant I was talking about. He comes to your base every so often. Go down here, click store. You can buy weapons, gear, supplies, fuel, mortar. You can mortar the fuck out of zombies if you want. But he's got... I like buying the MP5. That's one of my favorites to get. Or the Kevlar vest. I really like that. But I'm thinking I'm going to get armor piercing in one of my games to see if that helps against the, uh, the special zombies, I guess you can say. But yeah, this... This was Infectinator. I hope you guys check it out because I really think that it's worth it. I'll see you guys later.